Hello, so in this video I'm going to be teaching you to solve a differential equation by separation of variables. So, the way separation of variables works is that, well it's all in the name here really, you separate the variables. You have your derivative on one side and you split it into a term involving y and a term involving x. In this case it would be like this. There's quite a simple example where you can get one sort of expression in x and an expression in y. So, now you integrate. Now, there is quite a long explanation for this, but at uh, most levels of coursing, before you get really deep into proofs, do we need to know this? So, I'm just going to skip to what re in reality is the next step, which is integral term involving x. So about my wonky underlines, dx equals the integral 1 over the term in y, dy. Now, we all know that one of integral 1 over y, dy is just ln absolute value y, d, I'm sorry, plus c, where c is not a constant which you only need to include on one side. Now, sometimes in cases like this you'd be given a condition y greater than zero, which tells you that the absolute value doesn't need to be there, but here we aren't. So, it might lead to complications later, or it might not. We'll see. So this, 2x over 1 plus x squared. So, that almost looks like integration by substitution, doesn't it? We've got 1 plus x squared here, and the derivative of 1 plus x squared is 2x. So I'm going to use a bit of practiced knowledge of integration by substitution to just go straight to ln of absolute value of 1 plus x squared. Now, we can do e to the power of both sides, which is equivalent to cancelling out the logarithms. But I'm doing this for a reason. So this just goes to absolute value 1 plus x squared equals e to the ln absolute value y plus c equals e to the c times e to the ln of y absolute value y or just absolute value y. Now e to the c is just an arbitrary constant. But there's a twist here, because it's e to the power of c, it's a positive arbitrary constant. So, but if you think about it, because we've got the absolute values here and here, so if we're going to take them off, take into account the negative signs, we can just make this allow this to be a negative constant as well. So, basically, we have doing a bit of constant renaming, which I know is a bit naughty, but here it just works, so you have y equals b times 1 plus x squared. Now, if you'll just give me a second to check my answer. This is quite interesting. So in the solution that I was working from here, they, it was not, the absolute value was not used. Now you may find this in your course, the absolute value isn't really used. Well, if you think about it, it can be easier to understand if you take out the absolute value. So it really just depends on what level you're working at. Well, aside from that, this was how to solve a differential equation by separation of variables. Thank you.